Hi, it's Kylie. You know, you might be feeling really small today, or you might be feeling really big. Either way, when we're together and we express ourselves through art, it's powerful. So what do you say? Will you join me? You will? Awesome. You know, it's gonna be okay. We're gonna make it. Come on. It's me, Kylie, and I'm back with my friend, Dr. Bill, and my lunch. <laughs> Last time we were together, we froze my lunch very fast, but Dr. Bill had another idea of how we could make art out of this food. Okay, so I'm kind of a scientist, and I love doing things complicated. Oh. So there's another way you can freeze your food. It's called a freeze dryer. And so what we're gonna do is we're gonna get it very cold, we're gonna suck all the air out. And when we suck all the air out, all the water is gonna go out too. And so what you're gonna have is a warm, but completely dry fruit that you can then use to make art. I can't even wait. That's it. been 24 hours and our lunch is freeze-dried, right? That's right, it's freeze-dried. All right, let's get it out. Okay, you wanna go ahead and try to open the door? Yeah, all right. Is it gonna do anything weird? No, no, you just can't open it. Try it, go ahead. I'm very strong. I know, it's just one little latch, that's Ooh. all. Yeah, I got this. Yeah, no, you gotta, you gotta turn the latch, oh. yeah. <laughs> there you go, see, see, it? right, no, just keep. There you go. Oh. Now you go. Yay, there you go. Yeah, see? Still not, mm-mm. Yep, not gonna work. So this, we created a <laughs> vacuum. We sucked all the air out. Okay. Okay, so that, that means when the water that was in the fruit wanted to leave, it was really easy for it to leave because we sucked all the air out. Kind of like when you suck on a straw. Yeah, you're pulling the water. the water comes up. <laughs> In order for you to get the door open, we have to break the seal, we have to break the vacuum, we have to let all the air come back in. Okay. Okay, so there's a very special lever back there, and you just you just turn that little black lever and you'll be able to let this all, one? yeah, that's it. Is there a way I have to turn it? Left or right? Just try, try, there's only one way you can, there you go. There you go. And you can see the seal right here will get smaller and smaller and smaller. See how it's getting tiny, yeah. tiny, tiny. Oh, you can kind of see yeah, the air coming back in. And then it's, yeah, see right there? Now, if you try to open it. Okay. Oh, <laughs> easy. Check it out. So, Whoa. why don't you take a look at your lunch? It's, I think you might uh, be surprised okay. by what it looks like. Ooh, cold. Very good. <gasps> Yes. Oh, crispy. Crispy lettuce. Who doesn't like crispy lettuce? I mean. Whoa. Look at, they look like they exploded. Yeah, what that happened one? here? Yeah, if the water is trying to get out and it can't find a way out, it just goes boom. Wow. And the boom was captured. That's amazing. Yeah. Whoa, more explosions. Yeah. Blueberries, they don't, they, there's nowhere for the water to go. So unless you poke a little hole, they just blow up. They look kind of beautiful. It yeah. looks like crystal. Yeah, and you can see the deep purple and the white. Oh, beautiful. Yeah, and they're all different. Every single one released in a different way. Oh, a little exploding, but not as much. Yeah, these are just super light. If you pick oh, wow. them up. Yeah, they don't weigh anything. <laughs> 
Does that mean a strawberry is mostly made of yeah, water? Yeah, yeah, like 98%. It's, it's way up there, yeah. Wow, this is amazing. Okay, so now this lunch is ready to be turned into the material to make art. And all we have to do is grind it up. Okay, cool. Let's, uh, let's do it. Okay. Bill's over there getting some stuff ready to grind these up. Do you want to taste one with me? <laughs> believe him that this tastes like a blueberry because it just feels like cereal. That is the crunchiest blueberry I have ever had in my whole life. What? <laughs> it's like a strawberry chip. Has he seen me yet? He did? Oh. Ooh, the bananas are the best. Oh yeah. Oh man. You're gonna need some water. <laughs> Thirsty. Now that my lunch is freeze dried, we're gonna turn my lunch into paint. We're gonna do part of that right here in the lab. We're going to use this. Have you ever seen this before? This is called a mortar and pestle. Mm -hmm. And this is how you can grind things up. So what we're going to do is grind up these freeze dried fruits and spinach, turn it into a powder because there's no water left in it, remember? Then we're gonna take that powder, which will be the pigment for the paint we're gonna make back in my studio. We're gonna start with this spinach. Put it right down here, take this part, Put it right in the middle. And then you're just gonna roll it like this until it's ground up. Look, do you see how this green powder is starting to be formed? Yeah, that's going to make us some green paint. And then we'll paint with it. Have you ever painted with spinach before? <laughs> Me either. But we won't be able to say that for very long. Let's head to the studio. Hi, welcome to the studio. It's kind of looking lavish today, isn't it? It was so much fun freeze drying lunch with Dr. Bill. And now we're gonna grind up the things that we freeze dried to make our own paint. Paint is made up of two things. One, pigment. Pigment is the color part of paint. That's what we're making today. We're gonna take the color from these freeze-dried strawberries, for example, and grind it up, that will be the pigment. The other thing that paint is made out of is a binding agent. The binding agent is what holds the pigment together so that there's not just like powder going everywhere. We are going to be experimenting with different kinds of pigments today and a lot of different kinds of binding agents to see what we can come up with. The first thing we need to do is finish grinding up our freeze-dried things that we have. Now, I already did some strawberries. Look how pretty that is. I did some spinach in the mortar and pestle. And now I'm going to do our freeze-dried bananas. Now, I was able to do the spinach with a mortar and pestle like this but the bananas and the strawberries are a little bit tougher and a little bit bigger. So I used a coffee grinder. Woo, banana powder. <laughs> Brush that into my dish. Coffee grinders and blenders, things like that, have very sharp blades inside. So make sure you have a grown up with you. And grown ups, make sure you unplug your blender or coffee grinder before you get in there to get all your pigment out. Awesome, look at this banana-y pigment. Mm. You might remember that we also freeze dried blueberries. However, when I sealed it up to keep it nice and dehydrated, that means de-watered, no water in there, I must not have sealed it up well enough because when I opened this up, it was all sticky. How did that happen? Well, water from the air rehydrated, rewatered these blueberries because it was able to get into the bag. I'm still gonna try to blend them up to see what happens. Nothing to lose. 
Do you have to go through this much work to get pigments? Not at all. You can use spices that you might already have at home in your kitchen. I'm gonna use this empty egg carton as my palette today and the place where I'm gonna mix my pigments and binding agents together. I drew a little map of this palette on a piece of paper so I can keep track of what's in each circle as we mix it. I have all of my pigments on this side and all of my binding agents on this side. Let's get mixing. What do you want to start with? Hmm. How about the strawberry powder? So on my little key, I'm going to write S for strawberry. What binding agent should we start with? How about just water? All right, we'll record what we did. I'm gonna write water and then paint a little bit. Oh, yeah, it's kind of a nice light pink. All right, cool. I like strawberry and water. What's next? How about some honey. All right, strawberry and honey. It's thicker, isn't it? Woof. Oh, wow. I think the honey added some yellowish color to it. So it looks a little more orange. It's beautiful. What do you want to try next? Let's do something wild. Let's do some dish soap. I don't know. Whoa. The dish soap was clear, so it didn't add a lot of different color to it, but it did make it thicker than the water. I think that's my favorite so far. And last but not least, let's use some lotion. Really thick. And kind of smeary, hard to paint with. I don't think I'll use the lotion again. Oh, whoa, that was a surprise. This didn't look like it was gonna be very cool when I ground it up, but when I put the binding agent in, this really beautiful purple came out. Look at that. Cool. Okay, we've tried all of the binding agents so far. Here's a list of the ones that I've tried. The ones that I'm going to make the rest of my paints with are a mix of these ones, which I felt like worked the best. Water, dish soap, honey, glue, shampoo, and corn syrup. All right, I'm gonna try some spices. Look at all of the paint we made. We use so many different pigments and binding agents to make all kinds of different effects. Check it out. Wow. I think the only thing left to do is to use this guide and these paints to paint something. Might have to be abstract. We'll see. If you wanna make more art with me, I want to make more art with you. Just search for Kylie Makes It, K-Y-L-E-E, -E. that's me. See you next time.